Musical dictionary says hip hop is more than a genre. It's uh, a cultural movement. Yeah. Sweeping up music. Ah. Uh, poetry. Huh. Dance. What? Art. Okay. Fashion. <laughs> and political phil- philosophy. Yeah. A lot of people use rap and hip hop synonymously, but strictly speaking, hip hop is a cultural movement, including music, whereas rap is a specific musical technique often employed in hip hop music. So, what is it that we love so much about hip hop and rap? For us here in Ireland, mm. When we grew up, we looked at rap and specifically rap, really. Mm. We were into rappers, Eminem, 50 Cent, Nelly, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Tupac, Biggie. That was rap to me when yeah. I was young for that. Yeah. It's rebellious. The other wow. rebellious music is often like kind of hard rock, heavy metal. And if you're not into that where lads are like screaming and stuff, rap, as soon as... Like as soon as a lot of those lads walk on screen or you put on their music, you just feel rebellious. And it was kind of glamorous. They had heaps of money in the videos. Eminem to a young lad of my age. So like, I would have... We were about like 10 or 12 when Eminem comes yeah, out. Yeah, so. like 11, 12 when Eminem came out. And that's just like curry to a piss head <laughs> to an angry 12-year-old mm. who's just had a fight with his man. You're sticking your fingers up with your knuckles up as well. Yeah. Remember yeah, Eminem yeah, doing yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Lads were doing that around school like that to lads. Yeah. yeah. Fucking, I can't even do that. I can't get my knuckle in there far enough to do it. But like, you know, you've had a fight with your mom and then you go into your room and turn on Eminem and he's fucking his mother over. Yeah. But he don't like his mother and you're like, yeah, man, my fucking mother's like that as well. And you're just, all your angst has been put out through like, so Eminem it was for me because Tupac and NWA and all that was before that. Yeah. So like when you get into Eminem, it's like, okay, that's a nice little introduction into rap. And then the older you get, like now you'd be going back listening to like NWA and Tupac and all that. That's, but Eminem that, that was, was funny. Was in. Yeah. Eminem was funny, which really helps you if you're not, if that's your first experience at rap. The fact that he was so funny. Yeah. And he had like skits and funny videos. Yeah, his videos were class. Like, and also he looked like us. You can't but, deny you know, it. That, which, was, yeah. which, which, was, which was the thing. It was like, fucking hell, if he can, I could be a rapper too. Yeah. And I used to think I was a rapper. But I'm not missing. I've done some embarrassing things in my time. But like, obviously bleaching my hair, like, fuck it. Every young lad at that age bleached her hair because Eminem had bleached hair. Did you? Yeah. Of course. And did you cut it I like Eminem? I still bleach my yeah. hair yeah, at fucking did, 30 years of did age. Did you cut it like Eminem? Yeah, I had a short like, yeah, and bleached like. And did you wear a big white t-shirt? So here's the thing. <laughs> it was fair hard get baggy clothes back then. Yeah. Like, you know, clothes just like... So Eminem always had baggy pants. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like these jeans that were like... They, Scoop fucking You'd have had to go to Limerick for them <laughs> No So I, I couldn't get them So what I used to do Was just like Pull my pants down <laughs> So right, I sh- See uh, Is this camera on me Neil Yeah Sorry you now for people listening So You just pull your pants down Just pull Fuck I burnt off that light So you pull your pants down Yeah And then like It's, it's kind of hanging down like that Okay I can see your boxers <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah Yeah And then like you have your like At the time also You didn't have Calvin Klein But um and you just walk around in like that. It's hanging down your ass like sagging. So the crease of your tra- rapper, then. the crease of your tracksuit is nearly down to your knees. Yeah, pockets, and I can pockets s- will be just above your kneecaps. I can see your. And you'd have a long t-shirt. And that that was cool. Well, that was like what I thought was cool. So like you know, I'd be walking around like that. Now these are particularly skinny pants, but like if you had jeans on, you'd have them down. Like my mother would be like, "Pull up your fucking pants." <laughs> so that was like that was like my one thing addressing like him and him. My second one was like. You know, you couldn't get do-rags at the time in Oscar. That's understandable. Yeah, so like, I used to get, like... A hanky? I got me muttered by a white bandana. Right. Like, do you know, do you know like what Andre Agassi used to wear? <laughs> do you know, like, like a sweatband. Basically a white sweatband. And I put that on my head. And then like, pull the pea cap on down over it. So you'd only see like a bit of white. So it was and almost the like you had a do-rag. So it looked like, it, yeah. To the naked eye from the front. Mm. It would look like I had a do rag, and then okay. I would just like stand in front of the mirror, holding the microphone like Eminem holds it, you know, with his finger up like that. Yeah. So been like you know wrapping in, wrapping into the and covering the whole top of the microphone. So it sounds bad. So it sounds badass. So that's like that's what I used to be at as a young lad, like thinking I was Eminem the whole time. Or oh. I could rap his whole album, start to finish, and doing the skits and everything. Which album? The the Eminem show album. Wow. Remember we were listening to it up going up in the car. Like, yeah. Is that a la- second album? Last week. Yeah. Yeah. Then I had to go back and get the first album. So you're what? When you're dressing up as Eminem in the mirror, you're about 12, 13. Yeah, my mother used to be like, you can't be listening to that fucking shit, cursing and the whole lot. <laughs> so I used to get my cousin to, to get it to like, he he had the CD. I'd yeah. get him to burn it then, like, give it to me. I'd be fucking vibing out in the bedroom to like, think that was Eminem. 
Remember when Aunt Mike came out, I watched her a hundred times yeah. in a week. I remember going into school and there'd be lads actually trying to freestyle. Yeah. After watching Eight Mile, there'd be fellas with, like after double geography in their school uniform <laughs> trying to freestyle <laughs> at each other in care. Like I yeah. took part. I, oh, I was yeah. scandalous. Like yeah. I yeah, like I I still think I'm a rapper secretly. I could bust a bust and I'll rap from 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 time to time. We've released rap songs. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but like yeah, they're not like putting on Eminem's accents. But sure, you have to rap in your own accent. That's what makes raps good. Yeah, I know, but like. Eminem had it was easy copy his style. I know, it was yeah. nice. But he is classy. He's some fucking floor rap. Like he is very good. He's unbelievable. Yeah. And I, I really like him. When I look at modern rap nowadays, I have to say, I, I hate trap. That style of rap that's like boom. And then the hi hats are going like and then fellas are like, hey, and same and then bounty. You would add it, you would This style of rap drives me insane. Like a lazy rap. Yeah, I can't stand it, lad. It's just not for me. Lads who aren't arsed to rap. <laughs> Pronouncing the words Yeah uh, Whereas when I hear Eminem Even now like He still stands out by a mile to me The way yeah. he cuts through He's amazing I love No him. you'd have to be going online To look at the lyrics Because it's too fast for my head To comprehend yeah. what he's actually saying That's the fucking problem But like I always felt like it, it, As a young lad Like listening to these rappers That like, I was like I can relate to them I can relate to the struggle Yeah I couldn't Like I was living in a council house at the time, like with me, ma'am. That was your struggle. Yeah, well, that was my struggle. And even now, I reckon I have like like a rapper complex where, like, you know, what they used to be rapping about. I need new runners, bling, and I want that nice car. And I, still now, to this day, like, I never could buy it because it was always fucking broke. Yeah. And now I have a few pound, not yeah. major, by the way, but like now I'm like, that's why I've got forty pairs of shoes. <laughs> it's like I'm still just going. Yeah, do you want to come and see me shoes? <laughs> I've got a load of shoes. A grown man at 30 been like, nah, fresh runners. I've always got fresh runners. You got that rapper mindset? Yeah, that's it. Like On um, on rap, I was looking at early Eminem stuff. So before he had his big break, he released uh, an album called Infinite back in 1996. Right. And he got it done on vinyl and cassette. And do you know how many copies he sold? Well. 70. Fuck yeah, well. And if you got them now... They'd be worth a fortune. Oh, yeah. Whoever those 70 people are, they're, they're cashing them in for a good twine now. My my thing with rap is that uh, American rap, anyway, lad, they keep going on about how great they are. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember in Father Ted when there's only one parachute? Yeah. And the priest is like, well, I think I should get it because I'm great <laughs> yeah. and I'm brilliant. I can't handle it when I put on a rapper and, oh, wow, good beat and like this guy's got skills. And then halfway through the song, he's just still going on about how great he is. And I fucked your bitch. And I had to do this and I do that. And I was like, just lad, you know, sing a song about like the town or something. You know? <laughs> if I was a rapper, I'd be like, I'm doing fair well, but not too well. Not so too well, so, no, so no, no. don't be giving out to me. <laughs> I'm still sound. <laughs> That's basically what my rap would be. But I, it's, I think people kind of fall victim to the genre. Like, hear me out. The stereotype. Yeah. Woman, young white woman on a piano. What's she singing about? Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Heavy metal band, five white guys. Really angry at someone, but they never say who. Yeah, the government probably. Dance society. Society. Dance music. We're all going out. It's going to be a great yeah, night. Party time. Country music in America. I'm from the, the country. The dog's dead. Yeah, girl left me, took the van. Yeah. <laughs> country music in Ireland. I'm going home to a dance. <laughs> <laughs> Young lad with acoustic guitar. You want in school, won't text me back. Yeah. Yeah. Irish folk song. I'm over here in America. But I miss home. I miss home. Yeah. And, and a glass of poutine. <laughs> you know what I mean? An American rap. I'm great. I'm dangerous. And, and I have a fucking heap of money. Yeah. And, a big and diamonds. I'll shag your missus. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a fairly good analogy. Because I saw, I saw an Irish rapper who uh, he, he had two or three funny songs. And I was like, this lad is gas. I really liked him. And then he brought out another song where he's like selling drugs in the video. And he outsmarts the guards. And then he shags one of the lads he's working with misses at the end of the video. And I was like, she's I can't be listening to this. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was like, that's lousy. <laughs> that's a bit lousy, you know, to be honest. Like, I, have, have you ever like, have you ever done that? In, like that, like looking back, that you thought it was cool. Like in around that era of like rap and stuff. Like, do you remember the streets? Like, yeah, they were kind of rap. Like, Fitbo, you know what is fucking rapping. Like Mike Skinner. Yeah, yeah. Streets has some great stuff. Well, Mike Skinner had like eyebrow slits. Did you get an eyebrow slit? Yeah, a, a double eyebrow slit. On which eye? Oh, both, lad. I used to swap it up. Like, I'd wait for one to grow back, and then, like, that would get too hairy, so I'd slit the other eyebrow. But, like, I didn't know everyone was slitting them with an electric razor. 
So I was trying to do with like, you know, Mac tree. A, a Mac tree, like, and then like what wasn't a slip it was just a chunk. <laughs> Took out my fucking eyeball. <laughs> also, like, you know, the lads used to have lines in their hair, rappers used to have lines in their hair, like, yeah. uh, at one stage I got a spider web on my head. Oh, yes. Fucking ridiculous. I don't have a picture of that, thankfully. <laughs> But like I used to think that was cool, like hair tattoos. Sure. They go on even like, oh, do do hair tattoo on me. Walk out in, think you're the fucking bomb. Like. What else did you get? You got a spider web inside your head. Yeah, and then like, yeah, eyebrow slits, lines in the hair. The eyebrow. At one stage, I had like two slits in my eyebrow that went up into two lines in my hair. Wow. Like, yeah, that was probably peak wanker. We were talking about um, uh, grills and teeth. Yeah, I had grills. You didn't have grills. No, I didn't. I had like temporary <laughs> braces. <laughs> But they went, not, they went around with tea. But like, it's not grills. Here's the thing, like, here's the thing about grills, right? Here's the thing about grills. How do lads eat with them in? You take them out. So I, all oh, right. Oh, well, some people uh, do. That, that, that puts yeah, me. Yeah, I don't think you could eat with them. Yeah, in. that puts my theory to fuck. What were you going to say? Oh, no, like, because, like, I was like, I got those temporary braces and tried to eat a banana and nearly choked on the fucking bread and nearly <laughs> swallowed the whole brace. So I was like, how are these lads eating grills? They're eating steak and shit. Obviously, so they clip in. Yeah And like my braces They and clip you, out They clip out so You obviously take them out When you're eating Wear them for special occasions Okay Okay so yeah Because yeah. you can get them Permanently done on your teeth Because I was watching A Louis True documentary And he visited a rapper in jail And he was like Are you allowed your grills in here? Yeah And your man was like No no They're diamonds Permanently put in my teeth And Louis True was like How much does that cost? Your man said $130,000 And he He went into prison with them Yeah and but somebody's he, knocking his no, teeth No, 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 he's, he's like, he's he's obviously juiced in somewhere. He's protected in prison, so like, nobody's going fucking him up. Yeah, because you think like, you're going to knock his teeth out and then like sell those diamonds. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, like how, I like how you think, Johnny. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Mara, there's a book to be made. <laughs> did you ever find yourself in the mirror rapping along to Missy Elliott or something more, no? Um, oh, uh, no? that song, is it Lil' Kim? Uh, my neck, my back, yeah. lick my, mm, just like that. I, I got in trouble for singing that. So Where? My mother overheard me. Saying, what is that you singing? I was like, Are you singing the song, baby? He's like, Yeah. So I used to rap to girls. Oh, lad. Oh, this is like fucking come Johnny Smack's confession now. Come on, let, let, let it all out. Let it all out. No, I used to like. Um, oh, so where are you now? Where are you, where are you? Like, do you remember when Fifty Cent's film came out? And then he re- like this is this is not that long ago. He's probably like sixteen. Get rich or die trying. Yeah, uh, but he had like he, it, an album that accompanied the film, and there was a song called "Best Friend." It was like, "Can I be your best friend? I want you around me all the time." Yeah, Can I, yeah. I'd be like fucking. I was going out with her all the time, like be rapping at her, like and twenty one questions. <laughs> if I didn't s- smell so good, would you still hug me? I'd be singing to her like, "If I got locked up and sent us to a quarter century, could I count on you?" Like, like I was going to be getting locked up at fifty. Where are you doing this? You're like walking around with her in the bedroom. Yeah, no, I'd be down like shifting her down in like uh, Ross Grace's housing, where it was like you know, no one shifting place, and I'd be just fucking rapping into her ear. <laughs> yeah, like just like do rap for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Uh, <sighs> yeah, yeah. Man, hip hop had you bad. Oh, hip-hop, you were yeah. in the game. I still love it now though I still be listening to like Naughty hip hop now Yeah Yeah that's 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 my jam LL Cool J lad Hush Used to be doing the whole thing to her Little mama just hush <laughs> Oh It's fair cringe looking back on it Ladies love Cool James Yeah Yeah that's, a- LL that's Cool J cool, Ladies love Cool James Yeah In fairness that's a cool name Also yeah oh, Can we give it a couple of bad names I was, going, I was going to look for a Kangal at Christmas That would have been taken too far What the hat Yeah you know, the LL Cool J hat <laughs> Imagine going to teenage disco wearing that. You'd be getting black eyes, wouldn't you? 100%. Uh, we've got oh. some more bad rapper names here. <laughs> Lil Waterbed. <laughs> oh, that's, that sounds like it's for sale in fucking Harvey Norman. <laughs> Lil Booty Call. Jeez, that's bad. Lil House Phone. <laughs> <laughs> Lil House. They're just basically putting L in front of electrical appliances. <laughs> Lil Soda Boy. <laughs> Lil Hair Dryer. Oh, here's a good one. Lil Toenail. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Are these real names? Yeah. Oh wow. Leaky bands, B A N D Z, and okay. leave me alone. All one word. I'm not, I'm not saying any more about him. Do you know what I thought? Like, like rappers, like you know, look wise. Eminem had the baggy pants. Fifty Cent had the baggy T-shirts. They all had their own style. Yeah. Kanye West looked like he went to like a private school. 
Yeah. When he first came on the scene, he was wearing like fluorescent pink. He looked like fucking Mick Wallace. Clongos. Yeah, do you know what I mean? <laughs> he honestly, do you know that pink t-shirt Mick Wallace yeah. used to always wear in the doll? When Kanye West first came on the scene, that's what he looked like. Yeah, but it looked better on Kanye West. Yeah, no, like don't get me wrong. Like, the, the, you know, the, the Diamante chain over it, like, you know, that differentiated him enough from Mick Wallace. Yeah. If Mick Wallace had one, he'd just have like a sod of turf hanging off a chain. Be like, how are you getting on, lads? I have a new rap album there to drop. I'm doing it over in Brussels next week. We're having an album launch uh, for all the people. In, in the MEPs, all the MEPs out there, the sponsor for ye. <laughs> Just like, vote, vote for me. Vote for Mick. So, the style. Yeah. Uh, we were saying this, that lads, <clears throat> apparently the bling thing, one of the reasons, is that rappers would always carry something and they'd say, this is my bail money. Right. So they're like, right. I'm a hard bastard, I'm dangerous, I'm going to get locked up and I have this chain which will bail me out of jail. Fuck. Why they wouldn't have their credit card with them, I don't know. Yeah, or, 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 or yeah, yeah, or yeah, fucking even a debit card to do, yeah, wouldn't it? That's the story. I'm going to get bailed out. Here, pawn this chain. <laughs> no. <laughs> what if the guard is like, I know you only got a tenner for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there is like YouTube videos where lads go around with like a diamond detector. Yeah. And they go up to rappers, be like, yo, can I check your diamonds? And they tell you if it's real or not. Now, in fairness to them, like, I've yet to really see one where it's fake, like. Most of them are fucking legit, like they're Big real money, diamonds, yeah. diamonds. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, but the the grills on the teeth and all looks mental to me. I know it's a culture from some cities in America, but yeah. I think it looks. I like wouldn't bring a nice jacket on a night out with me. No, you'd for lose fear it. I'd lose it or someone <laughs> would rob it. Like I would definitely wouldn't be going around with 150 grand hanging on my neck. I yeah, but she didn't buy you to drink nothing. Yeah, we're all fucking. Yeah, it's only sipping, talking scour. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. just the style though, because my boyfriend played with um a guy in Finland, Jesse from Florida, and like Jesse's going out. In Finland, he yeah. is going out with the hip length uh, dreadlocks. Oh, class. Yeah. The gold chains, the rings, very tight fitted stuff, and the grill in his mouth. And he's very, like, you know, he's very into, like, he'd spend longer than I would get ready in an hour oh, and a half. Man. Like, you know. <laughs> he's got swag. Yeah. Like, whereas Pete would, like, you know, like, put on a t shirt and put some hair gel in. And that's, you <laughs> know. Proper Navin man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hair gel. Love him, boy. That's, that's such a uh, look. I think it's only totally different cultures, yeah. How then there was different phases like the eighty stuff of Run DMC. Like what they did for Adidas is incredible. Oh lad, that's my ultimate dream. What? Is like Adidas come to us and go <laughs> here. They'll sign you up. Be the new you know, Run Kevin, DM- Kevin Hart is like he's signed to like Nike. Nike, yeah. Fuck me. Adidas like be savage. Well so they did wonders for Adidas. That was the look that was kinda East Coast look. Yeah, look 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 at look at the jacket I had. Full on like Run DMC, black and white Adidas jacket. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what that is. Adidas Originals. Adidas Originals. Yeah, and then the you superstar had runners, the whole lot. The kind of Biggie Smalls, Puff Daddy, all them started wearing like pinstripe suits. Yeah, throw back to nineteen twenties gangsters. Pimps. Where did this come out? I don't know. Nobody knows. Yeah, no one knows. And then there's like the baggy stuff. Did you ever see Snoop Dogg throwing it back to the seventies vibe, going on with the pimp cane and like a big aluminum screen yeah. suit and the walking stick. Ah. It's last, last different styles and cultures is mad. I, I, I love it. Like, you talk about it all day. I just, my only thing yeah, about the, the topic of, of rap, I like when rappers talk about other stuff. Do you know your man, J, uh, J. Cole? Yeah. He's got a song called Wet Dreams about the first time he ever had sex as a teenager. Okay. Really funny. I love that. And then Kendrick Lamar has a song called I Love Myself, which I thought was about masturbation, but it's not. It's about. <laughs> of course you did. It's about like believing in yourself. Right. Right. <laughs> And I just think it's really refreshing to hear that. I'd like to hear more of that. Yeah, I'd rather when they're talking about that rather than killing people. Yeah, because I don't be going around killing lads. Anyone who's killing someone isn't talking about. Ah, sure, them rappers lads, you wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. You know, hitmen aren't going around being like, I fucking killing everyone. <laughs> no, you're not saying nothing about it. So, I was thinking, if I was to ever like go solo in the rap oh, career, right. right? I'm not going to call myself Lil. Right, you're going to call shit big, eh? Well, I mean... Big John. I'm not really... So if Medium. I, if I came in and I was like, the people like, oh, this is Lil J. People are like, he's not that Lil. And then they might think I have a small Mickey or something. Right. Yeah, which would be true. Which would be true. I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, Johnny Smacks? <laughs> so I'm thinking of calling myself like Medium J. Right. Okay. okay. Medium J. And because Medium J does a lot of things, but he doesn't like his fans. Right. Okay. Right? This is medium sized Mickey. So I've forgotten the AUX cable. Can you give me a beatbox? <laughs> I'm going to start rapping about chicken rolls. 
That's what's important to me in my life. Yeah, can I get some effects too, DJ? Chicken roll, give me the mall. Brown, white, large or small. Butter or mayo, taco is dicey. Plain, southern fried or spicy. Lettuce, cheese in my jaw. Peppers, chorizo, and some coleslaw. If it's more than 450, I'm calling the boss. Don't forget my garlic sauce. Do you want that? Cut in half. Cut in half, are you having a laugh? I'm out the gap. Chicken roll on my lap. Eight and a while I'm driving, I get it all over myself. Because I should have pulled in. <laughs> fresh, fresh, fresh. There's some terrible rap for you. I, I actually couldn't hear the rap because I was concentrating on beatboxing. Yeah, I was laughing. <laughs> but I want to. I, I dress. I like re- it though. I dress real normal. Right. That's that's, that's like that's your stick. I'd wear jeans and casual runners. <laughs> and then I wouldn't do that thing with my hands that rappers do. I'd put, keep my hands in my pockets the whole time. That'd be my thing. Wow. And How then, would you hold the mic? Uh, so on a stand. <laughs> yeah, right. Be like Liam Gallagher. <laughs> And then those baggy pants that lads wear. <laughs> Are them fellas with baggy pants not worried about their phone falling out of their pocket? Yeah, it's a disaster. Where did you me, keep your wallet? I had my hands in my pockets all the times. Hold on to your phone, kids. Yeah. And I'd say it in my songs like, I'll never shoot a guard or have sex with someone else's girlfriend. Because I'm sound. Yeah. That'd be Medium my, John. My stick. Oh, I like it. I like it. Medium J. We'll see. We'll put out to the, there to the record levels and I see someone might want to sign Medium J. Uh, yeah. Well, do you know an Irish rapper, Kojak? Yeah. He has a song about working in a deli. Ah, class. That's, that's, what, that's, that's what you want to hear. That's what got me into him. Right, okay. And his album, the cover, looks like a sticker from a ah, deli in Central. Ah, class, class. Yeah, and, and then he's wearing the, the white deli outfit and the hat and all. Deadly. That's what got me into him, day one. Deadly. There you go. Man, we'll have to revisit rap at some stage again. I think we, we've, we've got too much on it. We've got too much on it. Oh, yeah, sure. Where do you start? Where do you go? Like? Where do you finish? Yeah. I did find out. Um, what are you saying? Just in the Irish rap scene, I think if like one person could really break through, uh, I, I think it had opened the floodgates. There is a big, yeah, a big scene. There is a vibrant scene, like. Mm. But you know, you know your man Reggie Snow. Yeah. See, you'd be forgiven, listeners, if you haven't heard of him. But he has more monthly Spotify listeners than picture this: the Coronas and Christy Moore put together. Wow. And he's from Drumcondra. Wow, he's big, yeah. But he's living in America, yeah. and just because he doesn't like go on about Ireland in his songs, he might have like gone under the radar. But I think if one artist could like bang big worldwide, I think you might have a. Uh, a bit of a hip hop boom. Interesting, lad. We won't be part of it. Medium J probably not going to make it. No, Medium J probably isn't going to be the one to to parachute above the parapet. Is he going to be big? No, no. He's, he's going to be medium. medium. <laughs> Love it. <laughs>